Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020, and today I'm thinking about bread. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And I think here Jesus is just talking about the difference between our life here and now and life in the kingdom and how here and now we need bread to sustain ourselves and how that doesn't fulfill us spiritually. We need a different type of bread to, to nourish our spirit and how in heaven it's not going to be like this. You're not going to have to eat a piece of bread up in heaven because you're hungry. It's just not going to work like that. And so I think that's what Jesus is talking about, how bread isn't going to save you and make you live. Only God can make you live. And God created everything with his word. So that's how we live, through God's word. I think about this a lot. Matthew chapter 6, verse 11. And this is part of the Lord's Prayer. There's part of the Lord's Prayer where Jesus says, Give us this day our daily bread. And I think that you're supposed to interpret this two ways. And I think that one of the ways is a more simplistic, earthly, Give us this day our daily bread, sure. And thanks for, you should thank God for food, like literal bread. But Jesus also talked about bread, like here, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. I think that, I think that we're supposed to give thanks for spiritual bread and spiritual nourishment as well. And to ask for it, give us this day our daily bread. Give me that daily spiritual nourishment that I need. Maybe you understand what I'm getting at that a piece of bread these days isn't what we need. And I, I guess that is a good point. Like, there just really aren't that many people walking around that are starving. Even homeless people that you see on the side of the street, oftentimes they're obese. So what is the bread that we're lacking these days? What's the bread that we should be asking for? Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body. So, not saying I totally understand what's going on here. Clearly, this is something that gets taken out of context, and there's a lot of rituals that people perform dealing with this. But I think it just gets at this idea of bread is what humans think of as just a basic nourishment, and we're not supposed to think in fleshly terms like that, we should be looking for our nourishment in spiritual places. We should be going to Jesus for our spiritual nourishment. Matthew chapter 13, verses 33 through 35. Another parable spake he unto them, The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. So I, I really like this, this parable, the parable of the leaven. It's so quick. It's just one verse. The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. Because just think about it, without leavening, you just got a flat, flat bread. And think of how much leavening you use when you make bread. Barely any. And it's kind of interesting, too, how we think of yeast as being alive. So it's kind of interesting how we take a really small amount of this thing that is alive, and we mix it in with all the inert, just the dead, the flour and a little bit of sugar or whatever you're putting in your bread, you have all the all the inactive ingredients sitting there, and they're very voluminous. If you've ever made bread at home, it takes a lot of flour to make bread, and you're just adding a little bit of yeast, and that little bit of yeast makes the whole thing rise. And it just, whenever I think of that, it, it makes me think of all the... All the people out there that kind of look like they have nothing behind the scenes, like 
you look at their eyes and it's like they don't even have anything behind there. And that reminds me of all the flour and how when you make bread, it's tons and tons of flour, stuff that's totally inactive. And then there's just a little bit of leaven, a little bit of life, and it makes the whole thing rise. I don't know, it just, it makes me think of how few real people it seems like there are out there. And then how many just zombified people with nothing behind the eyes there are wandering around. And I'll just end with this, Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 through 5. Just because it's talking about what heaven's going to look like. In heaven, we're not going to have to have a slice of bread because we're hungry. It's just going to be different. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of nations, of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. So our whole life is going to revolve around God once we're in heaven, and we're all going to be in the presence of God, and it's going to be awesome. God bless everyone.